right, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, Jesus. All right, all right. Settle. Settle, we're gonna build. We're gonna build. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Look at this. Not bad. All right, all right, okay. Thank you, thank you. Jesus Christ. Give out some free tickets. Everybody shows up, huh? He's like, this guy fucking rocks, man! Free tickets! I like this guy. All right, well, it's, uh, it's good to be here, man. It's nice to be back in town here in New York. I didn't do shit today. I didn't. I'm a loser, man. I just sat around watching TV and all that type of stuff. And I'm gonna tell you something, man. You know what? I'm sick of pedophiles. Yeah, <laughs> sex offenders. Dude, they're on every channel. Everybody is doing something on sex offenders, you know? It's like, dude, I got it. There's people out there touching kids, you know? But it's not everybody. It's a very small portion of the population. So, you know, take it down a few because you're making it fucking awkward out there. Dude, you can't say hi to kids anymore. I love kids. I love kids. I like making faces at them on the airplane, making them laugh. Now parents are like, is that a sex offender? They start huddling their kids in, making me feel like a freak, you know? I'm terrified of kids now. Remember back in the day when a kid would come walking up to you, you, you could pat him on the head, hey, hey, Rusty, how you doing, right? Now a kid comes walking up and I'm like, dude, get that thing the fuck away from me. Get it away from me. I'm serious, dude, get it away from me. Hands are up high, not aroused, just terrified, please, for the love of God, I'm serious. Get that thing away from me, all right? You don't need the FBI or have to catch a predator guy to come walking out like, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? No, 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 sit down. That show to catch a predator, man, that is horrible PR for white people, huh? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can they move that show to an urban area every once in a while? Just catch a couple of R. Kelly's peeing on some kids, you know? <laughs> Just balance it out a little bit. It's like this every dude walking in that house got to look like me, like, hey, man, a fucking eight-year-old, how are you? <laughs> no, but it's unbelievable. Everybody is talking about pedophiles and all that type of stuff. I, I don't know. Maybe there's more of them nowadays. Is it, is it like easier now? Because the internet, you know? You know, because back in the day you had to work for it, right? You know, you had to get an ice cream truck, you had to buy some budget You had to figure out when the kids got out of school, you pick a straggler, you know? <laughs> now you just go on the internet, you just Google www.eight-year-old whose parents are falling asleep. You know, you're in there. <laughs> no, it's unreal. When's the last time you saw a kid riding a bicycle down the street? You're never gonna see that shit again. You never see him playing outside. Your parents just have him inside now, man. They're just feeding him and feeding him, you know? Just making him fatter and fatter. I'm trying to make him unfuckable. That's what it is. That's why you see all these 450 pound eight year olds just come, just come waddling out of the house. You can't get that kid in the car. I'm serious, pedophiles in general, they're very skinny people. They gotta start chalking up their forearms and fucking blowing out their back. <laughs> it's just a theory, people. Seriously. Honestly. Don't take this shit too seriously. Does he really think that? Does he think that that's why there's... I don't know. I rented that movie, uh, Pride, recently. Have you guys seen that movie? Anybody see that? It's about the first all-black swim team and the difficulties they had to go through being the first all-black swim team. Let me ask you a question. How many of those white people are evil movies are they gonna make? It's like, it's all the way down to swimming. You know? I'm starting to run out of white guilt, you know? No, it's like those movies, they started off unbelievable. Started off with Roots, right? White guilt was at an all-time high. I could barely even watch it. I'm like, dude, I got it. My ancestors are evil, okay? Please, please turn the channel, dude. Please turn the channel. They still hitting them? Fuck, turn the channel. This is gonna be on all week? Jesus Christ, turn the channel. Then in the 80s, there was like a football movie. Then like Cuba Gooding wanted to be like a scuba diver. Remember that shit? And now, it's all the way down to swimming. And I gotta admit, I don't think I give a fuck. You know, 
I'm not trying to be a dick, but it's a recreational activity. <laughs> Plus, I've been in pools. There's been black people in the pool, you know? I never saw any white guy, like, trying to, like, fucking, like, prevent people from getting into the pool. <laughs> it's like, they're just, like, making this shit up. I'm not, I'm not being a dick here either, okay? Just to clarify, you know, I just don't want anybody coming up to me after the show like, you know, I was thinking it, and then you fucking said it, and then... <laughs> I'm not saying that I don't think black sh people should be allowed to put on some Speedos and go for a dip. I'm not saying that shit. I'm just saying... These movies, like, the characters aren't even believable. Like, they always have to have, like, that, the, the over-the-top, uninhibited white racist character, you know? You know that guy? He's a guy like, uh, he's supposed to represent all the white evil, you know? He's like the dude they always have, like, screaming during the movie trailer. They'd be like, they were the first all-black swim team. Get out of the pool! <laughs> he's got, like, a big vein in his forehead. He's just screaming shit, look, not even looking around, you know? Dude, it's ridiculous. Real racism is quiet. It's subtle. People look around first. Make sure the, you know, they make sure the coast is clear. There's disclaimers, like, dude, you know I'm not racist, but uh, these insert group name followed by fucked up conversation, right? <laughs> That's how it goes down. It's not just some guy just standing up there. There's Negroes in the pool. Do you approve of this? I work at the bank. Can I be fired immediately, please? No, I'm just saying, can you just make the shit, like, believable? You know what the honest thing is? is those movies, they're starting to give me a complex. You know, because anytime they do a movie about a group of people that thinks dumb shit about another group of people, it's always like white dudes. So it's like, are white dudes the only ones who think ignorant shit about other people, you know? No Mexican guy ever walked up to somebody from India like, dude, what the fuck is that? Is that like itchy? Is that bug you? What is it? White dudes the only ones walking around. Why, you guys don't eat cows? What are you, a bunch of fags? Well, then why are you wearing sandals? This guy's wearing sandals. This guy's a fag. Just say it, you know? Just balance the movies out a little bit. Like, just have some of the evil shit that black people say about white people, you know, when, when we're not around, you know? Like, like, well, what are some good examples, you know? You know, like, you know what I mean? You're hanging out, you had a rough day, you know? What are some of the classics? You know, what, smell like wet dogs, right? You got headlights or something like that, right? Just, just slip some of that shit in there. Get out of the pool! Wash your hair, motherfucker, friend. Just make it seem a little more... Dude, I'm just saying, it's all the way down to swimming. I mean, where the fuck do you go from there? We do, like, ping pong? They were the first all-black ping pong team. They're gonna steal the paddles. Denzel Washington. <laughs> My daughter's not playing ping pong! You got to go out there and show the white man your bed, ping pong. 